Hello students, welcome back. Uh, so in the previous lectures, we have already discussed that uh, the calculation of uh, simple fertilizer, complex fertilizer, then if there is split application of fertilizer, how much fertilizer is required at what time period, uh, you have already calculated, right? You have already known so that in exam, if there is any question from that part, you can, uh, you can correctly answer it, right? So today what we are going to do, we have to calculate the micronutrient application. Micronutrient or if we are going for foliar nutrition, foliar nutrition, how to calculate how much quantity of nutrient source is required to mix with water and to prepare the particular concentration of the solution, right? So this is also uh, common in exam and students generally hesitate to answer such type of question because they almost think that numericals are uh, inevitable so what you need to do you need to understand the key points what is percentage what is ppm solution and uh, how we can apply that for example let's say there is zinc deficiency in your field let's say there is zinc deficiency zinc is used for zinc has active role in uh, activating different enzymes and uh, different metabolic process so if there is zinc deficiency there might be uh, various problems you can face in the plant various uh, you know deficiency symptom you can uh, face in the plant for example in rice crop if there is zinc deficiency in rice crop in rice crop if there is zinc deficiency then you can get coira disease in case in uh, your uh, nursery stage so the leaf bronzing will happen uh, there is there will be coppery uh, leaf will be developed so uh, that is one problem so there are several problems of zinc deficiency in different crops you can go through the textbook so if there is zinc deficiency we can we generally prefer to go for foliar nutrition means we have to uh, prepare one particular concentration or recommended concentration of the zinc solution and we have to apply it on the foliage on the on the canopy so that it can quickly absorb through the um, by the plant and it uh, it cannot it, it will escape that particular deficiency symptom uh, it will decline that or reduce that particular deficiency symptom so let's say for example uh, we have to prepare uh, the recommended dose is 0.4 percent of zinc sulfate okay one is 0.4 percent zinc sulfate another is 0.4 percent let's say uh, zinc okay someone is up, uh, recommending 0.4 percent zinc sulfate someone is recommended uh, recommending 0.4 percent zinc application so how to calculate that for example in general uh, for one hectare for one hectare this is a concentration okay this is the concentration but for one hectare how much solution is required what is solution how much solution is required solution means here the solute solute means the nutrient and the solvent solvent means the carrier here this is water let's say okay nutrient is the solute and water is the solvent so how much solution is required per hectare generally 500 liter of solution we require to spray over the uh, you know field right per hectare this is required for one hectare right so we have to prepare 500 liter of this concentration this much concentration of zinc sulfate as well as zinc so what is this 0.4 percent means 0.4 percent means percentage means in out of 100 how much right so 0.4 percent means 0.4 uh, let's say gram per 100 ml okay so this is solute solute will be uh, solute may be in solid form or liquid form if it is in solid form then it is called gram if it is in liquid form then it, it can be called as milliliter and uh, solvent that is in liquid form so that we can assign in ml right so if we are adding 0.4 gram of the solute in 100 ml of solution uh, solvent then we can prepare 0.4 percent of solution clear this part okay so uh, suppose here it it, it 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 would have been asked 0 0.4 ppm ppm means parts per million so in 1 million or in 10 lakh how much okay in 10 lakh quantity of uh, amount of solvent how much solute we are adding that is 
zero point four ppm. So in if it it would have, it would have been uh, zero point four ppm, then you must add zero point four uh, gram in how much liter? Zero point four gram in hundred ml. If if you are adding zero point four gram in hundred ml, then that is zero point four percent, right? If we are adding zero point four gram in uh, like. in 1 liter then that would have been 4% okay if you are adding 0.4 gram gram in 1000 liter in 1000 liter then it will provide you 0.4 ppm solution clear are you getting my point or not for 1 liter solution if you are if you are preparing 1 ppm solution in 1 liter you have to apply 1 uh, microgram 1 microgram uh, solute then you can add 1 ppm solution so clear it, this part percentage solution and ppm solution so what you need to do here the question is 0.4% let's say zinc sulfate you have to uh, you have to prepare right so the question is direct you have to prepare 0.4% zinc sulfate okay So what you need to do is just take uh, 500 liter of water, and how much zinc sulfate is, is required to prepare five uh, to mix to 500 liter of water to prepare 0.4 percent solution? So 0.4 percent solution means we we get it from here 0.4 gram in 100 ml. So in one liter, how much to be added? Four gram. And in hundred liter, how much to be added? Four hundred gram. For five hundred liter, how much to be added? Four hundred into five. That is two kg zinc sulfate should be added in five hundred liter. So two kg zinc sulfate in five hundred liter water will give you a zero point four percent zinc sulfate. But If the recommended concentration of application is zero point four percent zinc, how you can calculate that? Okay, because zinc as such you cannot find in the market. So in the market, what is the common commonly available zinc? That may be zinc EDTA. That may be zinc sulfate heptahydrate. Okay, in general, it is. Uh, Found in most of the you know places, zinc sulfate heptahydrate, which contain around twenty one percent zinc. Okay, so this zinc sulfate heptahydrate contains twenty one percent zinc. So what you need to apply, you need to mix this zinc sulfate heptahydrate, calculated amount of zinc sulfate heptahydrate, with five hundred liter of water, because zinc as such is not marketed. So how much is required? How much zinc sulfate heptahydrate is required? First, you have to calculate. To prepare 0.4 percent zinc sulfate means what? In 100 ml, you are adding 0.4 gram of zinc. Okay, for one liter, you must add 4 gram of zinc. For 100 liter, uh, you have to add 400 gram of zinc. For 500 liter, you have to because we are adding, we are preparing 500 liter of solution. 500 liter of 0.4 percent solution, you must add. 2 kg of zinc okay so this much zinc you you have to apply through what through zinc sulfate heptahydrate so how much zinc sulfate heptahydrate to be added with 500 liter so zinc sulfate heptahydrate uh, contains 21% zinc so we will get 21 kg zinc if we are applying 100 kg zinc sulfate heptahydrate so 1 kg zinc we will get from 100 by 21 And two kg zinc will get from hundred by twenty one into two, so it will come around how much? Let's say, for example, five. Suppose for example, ten to twelve kg of zinc sulfate heptahydrate. That is ZnSO four seven H two. So ten to twelve kg, whatever is coming, you just calculate that much zinc sulfate heptahydrate. You need to mix with five hundred liter of water to prepare zero point four percent zinc. Solution and you have to apply it over the field. Are you clear? What is percentage? Percentage means um, 0.4 gram 
in 100 out of 100 how much that is percentage 0 0.4 gram in 100 ml that is 0 0.4 percent okay if i would say 1 gram in 100 ml that is 1 percent right then 1 milligram in 1 liter then that would that that is called 1 milligram 1 milligram in 1 liter that is called okay here ppm that is wrong i think so 1 milligram in 1 liter that 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 is called 1 ppm right so in ppm and percentage uh, just go and don't get confused and remember what is the source if it is zinc sulfate then it is direct if it is zinc percentage of zinc you have to apply it, then you have to calculate it from zinc sulfate monohydrate or zinc edt whatever it is mentioned and you have to remember the concentration how much zinc it contains that zinc sulfate applied at the source zinc sulfate applied at or zinc sulfate monohydrate or zinc sulfate zinc edta how much zinc is it is uh, it is having so likewise you have to apply or spray in the canopy to reduce or uh, to elevate your micronutrient deficiency so i hope you understood the numerical and if you have any doubts still then you can ask me in the comment section uh, and if you have any doubt from any part of the agronomy you can ask me in the comment section as well